Yo, what is happening, fanbase? And since everyone on YouTube has decided, let's do tier list. That's a low quality video that we could churn out relatively quickly and people are interested in seeing. Well, I want to be part of that low quality churn out video trend. And I figure there's no way to do it better than to rank all of the anime YouTubers on YouTube. But since I find it disgusting to rate actual human beings that will feel bad because of it, I will be doing it with a twist. Being that taste is purely subjective, except for mine, which is completely objective, I will be ranking the anime YouTubers based on their taste in anime. The ultimate evil plan, where only memes can transcend. I hope you enjoy, let me know if you disagree with anything in the comments. Please note that there's no way I would be able to do every single anime YouTuber, so I'm gonna limit it to those over 100,000 subs, and I'm also going to limit it to the people I remember. I'm sorry if I don't remember you. Uh, it's not that I hate you or anything. In fact, you may prefer to not be featured on this list, as you will find out soon. But for now, on with the video! Starting off with Aki, dearest. And, well, Aki has fantastic taste in anime. I mean, as far as things go, she praises all the good shiz. It's true, I've seen two videos on her channel recently where she was literally watching the worst rated anime and the worst rated manga of all time, but I'm gonna assume those are out Outliers, because for the most part, she talks about fun anime, no game, no life, you know, cutesy things like Death Note and stuff. But when she was asked what her favorite anime character is, she said One Punch Man, and that is the pinnacle of epic choice. You've seen my latest videos on One Punch Man. I'm a huge fan. And then she said the reason why One Punch Man is her favorite anime character is because he lives such a happy, content life. Well, I know one person that doesn't watch my videos on One Punch Man. And when she was asked, what her favorite anime villain is, she said Betelgeuse from ReZero. And I like Betelgeuse from ReZero, but literally anyone from Hunter x Hunter, Aizen, Pain, Doflamingo, Griffith, Gankutsuo, and she picked Betelgeuse. I'll let it all slide because she made One Punch Man her favorite anime character, so A tier. Next, the anime man. And speaking of ReZero, he said that the anime embodiment of the character that did nothing wrong was Subaru. Now, I don't disagree with this, but he should have said Griffith, and immediately, my faith in this man plummets. One thing I have to say about the anime man, though, every single time Berserk comes up, he goes out of his way to praise this manga. I mean, this is S tier behavior right here. However, thinking back at all of the hours I've spent watching this guy's videos, he's never made a single JoJo reference! B tier. Next, we have Giguk. Giguk has a very interesting strategy on YouTube. I mean, everyone seems to like him. I like him. And if you pay attention, it's because he never badmouths a single anime. Yes, that is correct. Giguk has the unique ability to not shiz on anything, which is sort of beautiful, but it does make the stuff he praises somehow feel less genuine. I don't know, maybe that's just my take, but he literally loves everything. The only one one negative thing I've ever heard him say is that he doesn't like Nina from Code Geass, which is distasteful because her table scene was one of the monoliths that united the anime community for generations. But this guy wholeheartedly praises Eromanga Sensei for its ingenuity and beauty, which honestly I respect because it takes a man of culture to admit it. What I don't respect is that when he was asked which anime character he would want to be for a day, he said, Sasuke from Naruto? What? You mean the guy who was literally suffering through the entire series, the moment he killed his older brother, who he attributed to all of his suffering until this point, he then realized that his older brother was a good guy, and then he continued suffering for double the reasons. Yeah, pick to be a character for a day. Pick the most depressed anime character of all time. He did just make a video on Gankutsuo, though, and that was pretty dope, so I would give him B tier, but then again, he always gets into the arguments of best girl of any individual year, like in ReZero. He said, oh, is it Ram or is it Amelia? And clearly it's Roswall, and he didn't even give him an honorable mention! C tier. Next, we have Noble from Lost Paws. And this man, always on Twitter, asks for memes to be featured in his Try Not To Laugh challenges and stuff. And being that I may or may not help with certain submissions, Lord Twigo is in literally every single one of his Try Not To Laugh challenges. And that right there is an S tier feat. Noble is the only anime YouTuber that talks about my Lord Twigo meme even more than I do. It may be my fault but it's absolutely beautiful. We'll put him in the Lord Twigo tier right above S tier. And before any of you makes fun of any other nuances in his taste, he did the best goddamn Kirito cosplay on the planet, and that just shows his love for the medium. 
Next, we have Misty Kronxia, and that is the correct way to pronounce his name. He is absolutely the most easy to rank on taste. I mean, he does top 10 lists and top 50 lists. He literally quantifies which anime he considers better than others. So after doing infinite calculations with the power of math, looking at his top 50 list, where some truly amazing anime were completely forgotten, let alone low down on the list, and honestly, the guy is pretty good. That is until I saw that Digimon was his 17th favorite isekai anime when it's clearly the greatest D tier for Digimon. <laughs> Next, we have Mother's Basement, and this man needs absolutely no introduction whatsoever because, as we know, he calls Recreators, you know, one of the worst anime to come out of recent years, and I tried to finish it, goddammit. I watched 14 episodes pushing myself every single time, but I couldn't do it. Recreators was garbage. He called it a classic anime. I would say F tier just for this alone. However, the fact that he called Recreators a classic anime kind of became a meme to me, and anytime I hear someone say modern classic, I, think I immediately think of recreators. So that moves him all the way up from instead of F tier to the saved by the meme tier, which is right above F. And no, I'm not trying to attack his character or anything here because I think that everyone would have put him low on this list. I mean, he's made videos hating on Sword Art Online and that's one of the true modern classics. That was a joke. And you're probably wondering why I'm specifying that as a joke. I mean, I make this sarcastic humor all the time and jokes go over people's heads all the time. Why am I specifying this to be a joke? Oh! And the answer is simple. It's because what I'm about to say is not a joke. Sword Art Online is better than Recreators. Next YouTuber, Swag Kage. Now, Swag Kage uploads a ton of Naruto videos. So you're probably thinking, I will rank him purely on his taste in liking Naruto. But no, because his favorite anime is Hunter x Hunter, and he likes Naruto equally to Dragon Ball. He just became Swag Kage because uh, I guess that was his fate. As far as ranking his taste goes, out of the only three anime I really think he's seen, aside from maybe Death Note, he ranks them as Hunter x Hunter, Naruto, Dragon Ball. A perfect ranking! I agree! The issue is he hasn't really seen any other anime, so I can't compare to anything, so by default this dude gets his A rank. His taste is impeccable, even though he has nothing to have taste for. The absolute mad lad. Ah, uh, never mind. Um, I think we're gonna have to move him down to D for sucking Madara's dick! Next, we got Geekdom 101. And honestly, I haven't really seen any of Geekdom's videos because Dragon Ball YouTube is a dark corner that I don't frequent. But this dude recently made a video saying he watched JoJo's Part 1. I didn't watch the video on if he liked JoJo's Part 1 or not, but by the fact that he dipped his toe in the Joe, that's immediately C tier, at least. And no, I'm not at all biased by the fact that his avatar is Frieza with glasses and a lightsaber and that clearly shows he is a man of culture and a masterful, tasteful wizard because Frieza with glasses and a lightsaber? Step aside Michelangelo. This is where art's at. Next we have Super Eye Patch Wolf and honestly it's pretty crazy. I disagree with certain points in some of his videos but all of his opinions are freaking dead on. Also he's the only non-Jojo YouTuber that made an individual video on each part of Jojo. A man of culture. S tier fam. Next, C Dog VA. And honestly, this dude is an absolute mad lad. He reads more gay porn than I've made references to JoJo's in this very video. And speaking of, he also loves JoJo's. We got another S tier. Man of culture. Next, we have Glass Reflection. And, well, this guy is rating scale, man. I mean, he gave Code Geass like an 8.2, and he gave Attack on Titan Season 1 like a 9.2. He also gave Code Geass like a buy it now rating or whatever, and his certified frosty highest rating? Well, he saves that for, you know, the true great anime, like My Hero Academia. Fun fact, the guy's not a fan of other shonen, but My Hero Academia is great. Signs of a guy that's not watched other shonen. I mean, in his stream of his, a guy with a Sasuke Uchiha avatar named Sasuke Uchiha messaged him, and he read it out loud as Sasuke, which is a dead giveaway that he's not exactly the biggest Naruto fan on the face of the planet. He claims he doesn't like Shonen and he gave My Hero Academia a certified Frosty, but gave Code Geass to buy it now. Very interesting that he really highly rated things like Attack on Titan after Season 1 and My Hero Academia after Season 1. I wonder if it was just because they were hyped and popular or something. Probably not, because he also gives Frosty ratings to all the classics like Evangelion and Cowboy Bebop and stuff. We'll put him in E rank for Elite. Next, For Neverworld, C tier. I mean, I can't really get a read on 
his taste at all because he changes his taste depending on which anime he's talking about in any given video. Next, Heavenly Controller. Heavenly Taste. This boy likes all the good shiz, but even more importantly, he likes some thick. Heavenly Tear. Next, Nux Taku. Right next to Mother's Basement in the Saved by the Meme Tier. No questions. Double Four Anime. He didn't like the filthy Frank Naruto opening when he reacted it, and he actually got offended by it. Honestly, this is peak cringe because the Filthy Frank anime opening was better than the Naruto one that it was based off. So, uh, double four anime, D tier. Anime balls deep. Someone who actually criticizes episodes and chapters he doesn't like, and, uh, he doesn't like the bad chapters. So, I'd say this all works perfectly. However, if there is one plot twist in anything like Black Clover, he will upload 10 videos on Black Clover over the next few weeks, each of them saying epic new plot twist that blew your mind. And that's quite the taste and title. However, to be fair, it was a very epic plot twist. Anime Balls Deep B tier for balls. That's a compliment. Next, Teching 101. I would say he's well deserving of A tier or even S tier because he genuinely likes the good shiz. He respects the whammon with the big badonkers. He probably respects whammon without big badonkers too, but I don't have much experience with Teching to know. However, he thinks Great Moth is a Yu-Gi-Oh card that is actually actually a viable option to use in a duel. Great Moth is the worst creation to ever emanate from Japan, and teching I will duel you without using a single monster over level 4, and I will still annihilate you and your Great Moth deck. C tier, where C's for cringe. Next, Seth the Programmer. I have no idea what this guy's taste is. It's just power scale stuff. I mean, he power scales a lot of Dragon Ball characters, so I assume he likes Dragon Ball, and it's not really a matter of taste that he says Krillin could beat Saitama and whatever. So, I guess as a default, we'll put him in C tier because he's friends with Chuck the Cyber Cuck. So he also uses the Cuck note instead of the Death note. And if this isn't telling us something about his personality, well then, why is it mentioned at all? Next, anime uproar. He likes Gurren Lagann and Kamina, and they're both absolutely trash. Not really, but since Animax said it, it's a lot more fun to do that. He says no game, no life is terrible. He says Megumin is a terrible character, yet still a viable option even though she's underage. Anime uproar, F tier. Get a damn haircut, man. He also has the audacity to say that Digimon isn't best. He's a guy. What are we gonna do with this guy, fam? Digibro. If it has bright colors, Digibro will like the anime. Now, these aren't the exact taste criteria I give when I talk about anime that I like, but uh, if bright colors is your thing, man, then go for it. C tier for colors. You thought I was gonna mention how he said Shin Sekiyori is a worse anime than Sword Art Online, even though Shin Sekiyori is amazing. Nah, he probably just really likes Sword Art Online. Next, Chibi Reviews. He does a lot of reviews. Like, a lot of reviews. Like, he probably uploads a dozen videos a week. A lot of reviews. Uh, but judging by the fact that he reviews everything, he must like them at least somewhat. So, uh, we'll put him in C tier because in the end of the day, he's Chibi. And also, Jack is boy, the absolute mad lad that's editing this video for me, which I really appreciate. Link to his channel will be in the description. Please feel free to check him out. Has something he wants to say to Chibi. Roll it, Jack. Chibi Reviews is the greatest man ever to grace this this godforsaken planet. His body is so toned, so goddamn sexy that you can't even I can't even operate on a on a metaphorical level anymore. I can't even stand anymore. He's so sexy, Nox. Nox, he's so sexy. Very cool, Jack is boy. Very cool. Next, too spooky. This guy argued with me tooth and nail on my top 50 anime. And this guy didn't even watch 50 anime, I think. I mean, he may have watched like 70 or something. And out of those 70, they're all the long-running shonens. His need-to-watch list is literally 40 of the things on my top 50 list. So I would say inconclusive, but his two favorite anime are Berserk and One Piece, and uh, that's God tier taste right there. Too spooky, A tier. Next, we have Otaku vs. And Otaku versus, I have no idea. You like Otachan, who's a uh, tsundere, and um, anyone that likes abusive tsundere, lesbians with pink hair, that's at least a B tier, even though I have no idea what any of your tastes are. Next, I mean, I guess he's sort of an anime YouTuber. ER! And uh, most of his videos just make 
fun of stuff, you know? Made fun of Legend of Korra, made fun of Star Wars, made fun of Netflix Death Note. The only anime I could think of that he's actually ever praised was One Punch Man when he was comparing it to Marvel because he was using it to make fun of Marvel. Now, that's irrelevant. He praised One Punch Man as one of the greatest anime of all time. I would put him really high, but since I'll probably be demonetized if I do that, because for whatever reason, people don't like him, for whatever reason, I would put him in F, but saved by the memes because his avatar is sheer away from Log Horizon, and that's one of the greatest anime characters of all time. Next, Fox in anime. The guy just makes videos and attack on Titan, and he pretty much coincidentally has the same thumbnail styles as Anime Uproar, right after Anime Uproar uses those thumbnail styles. To the color coding of the words on the thumbnail, to the way the thumbnails are set up. I mean, maybe it's just my random nitpick that is potentially completely incorrect, but Fox in anime, F tier for Foxen. Also, he only talks about Attack on Titan. Next, Tokyosaurus. The guy has the thumbnail to game down. He puts trending on Japan on the top of all his thumbnails, so people are thinking to themselves, oh my god, this video's trending in Japan, when in actuality it's not. F tier. Next, we have Getting the Robot. Getting the Robot's a corporate channel that has no personality, so C tier for corporate channel. Some Moe Gaming is an absolute mad lad. He praises Boruto for the meme, which puts him in B tier for Boruto, because it's greatness. I understand the meme. Unique name is Saurus. As far as his taste in anime, well, he hasn't really been doing anime videos for a while. He's been churning out all this pro-piracy stuff, so as far as his taste in anime, his old profile picture on his YouTube channel, most of you probably do not know this, it was Natsu from Fairy Tale. He's a Fairy Tale fanboy. Hell yeah! Not afraid to admit it. S tier. Very cool. Not memeing at all. Next, totally not Mark. The guy got the thumbnail game down. I don't watch Dragon Ball channels, but I'll watch it if it has a respectable thumbnail. Totally not Mark. B tier. Next, Roger's base. The guy ranked one piece above Hunter Hunter without even watching Hunter Hunter. B tier. Next, King of Lightning. King of Lightning is the only YouTuber that I know that's actually reading Kingdom, and I don't read Kingdom, and I definitely should, because I hear great things from Kingdom. So because you are the Kingdom mad lad of YouTube, I would give you A tier. However, you made that one video saying Kakashi sucks, and Kakashi does not suck, so C tier. Next, Joy Boy Theories. You know what he has that King of Lightning doesn't have? Well, he never made a video saying Kakashi sucks! B tier. Annie News. Annie News just cranks out videos in Overlord and they do well. Respect, bro, but Overlord isn't even top 10 isekai because the top 9 are different permutations of Digimon, so D tier. That's that Digimon tier. You and Misty have much to learn. Next, best guy ever, the Philosopher God King. Not only does he love One Piece, but his favorite character is Katakuri. S tier. And finally, PewDiePie, one of my favorite anime YouTubers on YouTube. He's collabed with anime YouTubers, he's made anime reviews, he watches a lot of anime, and I would have said F tier because even though he's one of my favorite YouTubers hands down, not only does he not watch Shonen, but 99% of his videos aren't even on anime. What kind of self-respecting anime YouTuber is he? But he does do meme review, and a lot of the meme reviews had JoJo's, so once again, bumped up to the Saved by the Memes tier, and he's awkwardly close to ER, and that was not intended whatsoever. This is not ironic humor, it's just a fact of life. Thank you all for this completely objective tier list based on completely subjective taste and anime. If you did like this video, feel free to smash that like button, leave a happy comment telling me how I'm wrong and I should die or something, subscribe for amazing future videos, and let me know if you want me to do another tier list on anime YouTubers based on if I want to be trapped in an isekai anime with them. Have yourselves the most wonderful evening, and remember to stay weird, fam.